Oh, oh so awesome. Chef, yeah, sure. And we got to do an interview tonight. Okay, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, you got it. Yes, sir. Keep on there. So, so you got
just like to thank God yes. for the victory and thank all of my supporters, my family, my mother, Carla, Dre, my campaign manager, and his wife, and Gloria, and all of my friends and whoever worked on uh, phone calls, canvassing, what else? Uh, praying, whatever you've done. Praying. Because we were up against a money machine. Somebody that spent over $300,000 and so on this corner, but I just thank God that we prevailed. Yes. And um, I don't know what the outcome is going to be with Bronson. He's in here somewhere. We're going to ask him to come out to Richard. Richard, you can come over here too. Because you want to. Oh, I forgot about my treasure, Clara. And uh, <laughs> for all the donations you donated. I just appreciate it. It goes to show you when you stick together, we can do anything. And our camp was together. I was a little nervous starting out. Um, you know, my father always told me a lie would not tear it. That's right. And so he was like, where, where have you been? You're not at the polls. You're not at the polls. But you know when somebody's trying to provoke you and, and want you to say certain things to get you out of character. So I decided to just stay away from that. And so, you know, I just don't wait until a couple of months to start campaigning. I campaign every day. And it means if I, you know, I just don't wait to show up at churches, funerals, weddings, whatever, because my heart is with the people and I'm, you know, and I'm working for the people. So I just want to say, uh, four more years would make what, 20 years? I'll be on call Ruben Blackwell. Thank you, Ruben. <laughs> and you know, we took the high road. We had one press, we had two press conferences. And people said I got in trouble on the first press conference. But I told the truth. I told the truth. And you know, it's sad when people come in and take advantage of your community and rape your community. Our vote is sacred. Yeah. And if we read back through our history, those who could not vote, they fought, they bled and died. We think about uh, in Selma and how people were beaten. And what was so saddened to me as I worked this campaign, I saw older African-American women sitting out in the field and heat. And even when it was cool today, wrapped up in plastic, you know, working for somebody who just showed up on the scene. Yeah. I just want to say, Ruben is in the community. Yes. With OIC. Yeah. yeah. And with the council. All right. Richard Joyner is in the community. Yes. Yeah. I'm in the community. Yeah. We're in the church, and, and, and we love people. Yeah. And you can look at all of our background and see where we have touched lives of those who uh, are the voiceless and those that um, need help, and we are there for them. So I just want to thank you, and I'm going to share this platform with Reverend Jordan, and then Bronson, you want to take that carrot down and come on up here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're hoping, y'all just be praying that those numbers go up. Yeah. Keep praying that those numbers go up. And you know, we got to sometimes look among ourselves, you know, and choose our own leader. We know who are sincere, we know who are in our community, and we know who are for real. And so that's one thing we're gonna have to do is to just tell the truth, speak truth to power. So this time, Brother Richard, join us. First, let me, uh, as a pastor and as a minister, give all praise and honor to God for this great privilege to serve. That's literally what I take it as, a great privilege to serve. And I am thankful for the team of the city council 
that we work to do the best for our community. And uh, I want to ask my son, you know, Melvin Muhammad, to come up and Drone to come up. Uh, and my uh, all in all, Dominique, uh, she and the team, our, our team that flush every single day and even gave them permission to flush on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to give it up. They, they really made it work and I uh, really want to, to thank Ward 3. Yeah. Well, thank Ward 3 for literally putting their trust uh, in Councilman Joyner one more time. That's right. and, and that we are committed as a team that we will not let Rocky Mount down. That's right. Yes, that's right. We will not let it down. And, and we are not going to stop flushing just because the campaign that's has right. come to this place. The campaign is not over. That's right. It's not over. And my cousin Linda, uh, city councilwoman from Princeville, so I, I am just really thankful for everybody in this room. Uh, Rude man, thank you for your senior leadership. Yes. And just awesome. Uh, Councilwoman Lewis Watkins, thank her so much. Awesome. And thank you guys. And Lorenzo, man, awesome. Thank you so much. And, and just all of you guys, we have an awesome task before us. But because God is with us, the task is minimum. And we will accomplish. And there's a lot that we're going to do, and I'm just humbly thankful to have this privilege to stay here and let Rocky Mount, watch Rocky Mount be the city that the doorway to the eastern part of North Carolina where everybody is blessed. Again, thank my family that taught me how to serve, and I want to say that Ward 3. We can right to go somewhere together. Right your mouth, we're going somewhere together. And thank you so much. God bless you. Let's go forward. Yes, sir. Glenn Drum. Yes, sir. Let's give up a Glenn Drum. We still waiting for the numbers to come in, but... We are still waiting for the numbers to come in. But of course, we've got uh, 16 of the 17 precincts that reported thus far. Sandy Robinson has 48% of the vote. Mm. And so, if he does not get 51%, which is highly likely that he will not get that, so we'll have to go back to the polls in November and uh, make history finally in Rocky <laughs> We know that history making does not come without a struggle. That's right. And so no one ever said it would be easy, but certainly was putting in the work uh, to see it, it happen. And so we thank all of those who participated. We said so many thank yous and everybody who's been supporting uh, Councilman Andre Knight, uh, uh, Councilman Richard Joyner. They also supported me. So for that, I say thank you as well. That's right, bro. And we're moving forward uh, to the next level in this campaign. And then we're going to move forward to 2020. Because that's right around the corner as well. We cannot forget that as well. But I believe in November, Bronson Williams will be the mayor. Yes! Now is the time, right? Now is the time. Now is the time. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, I forgot. I did not call out Councilman Woman Lois Watkins as well. She supported me as well. I was, I was happy to have all the endorsements of all the council members. Uh, how historically I came in and thought about these. How you feel to me? The kind of and uh, made it happen. So I, I appreciate that. Appreciate the conversation that I have with all the council people. Uh, who certainly ha has been a guidance in my life uh, from even a young age. So I thank you for that. Even. <laughs> 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 All right. uh, in NAACP, we say the people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never.
grace is all about real unity. That's right. That's right. That's right. For the last two years, we've been under attack. We've been called racist. All right. And don't have the ability to impact that kind of influence. We've been called divisive when all we've worked for is a united school That's system, right. That's right. a united Twin Counties region, That's right. a united downtown, That's right. and a united economy that works for everybody. So where we are today is that we got to take this euphoria that we beat the big money at least on the council level and you got to think about it $300,000 in a mayoral race that we can count huh? that we can count you don't know what's uncounted that's on the table but you still couldn't pull it out with a 70% win already won. So what we got to do now, we must have a united council. Yes. That's right. Yes. We must have a united majority. So the race between T.J. Walker and Elaine Williams is still, we don't know what it is, but it looks like Mr. Walker is going to take it. So we've got to coalesce our community that's been split in half. That's right. That's right. Bring us together right. because the agenda is larger than the people. That's right. That's right. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We got to make sure everybody that got a vote from the inner city community is committed to affordable, decent, available, accessible housing. That's right. That means downtown. Yeah. That means in every ward of this city, right. one through seven, not one through four, one through seven. That's right. Because right. poor folk live everywhere. That's right. 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 We got to make sure the city hall looks like the city that it runs. That's right. right. So we should have representative leadership, yep. and people should be paid fair wages That's for right. a fair day's work. That's, That's right. right. That means that workers from the streets, all the way to the top level of City Hall should be paid on an equitable basis. Yes. That's right. We need living wages, City Council members. That's don't right. we? Folks should at least be able to make at the City of Rocky Mountain $15 an hour. Should yes. that be a living yes, wage? Yes, we should fight for that now. Yes, sir. Yes. We should fight to make sure that we have minority and women businesses everywhere. That's right. Now, we heard this narrative that has been unjustly accused that, that Andre and, and myself, but particularly directed to Andre, have benefited from being at City Hall by purchasing properties. Well, let me tell you something. When I came on City Council back in 99, <coughs> I was called into the big house for supporting Andre because he dared buy property in a formerly all-white community. And I was told then, and the people, some of them alive and some of them are dead. Huh? Talk about it. Talk about it. But they asked me, why do you support this man? And I said, why would I not support someone who grew up in Rocky Mount, went to school, parents worked hard, sent him to college, came back, started up a business, employed people, and took care of the frail, the elderly, and those who have no home. Why would I not support? So my question to us today is why would we not support those of us who are able to take advantage of opportunities? We've been preaching it, teaching it, That's right. telling everybody, why can't we do it ourselves? That's right. But a man who makes $200 million a year can walk in without question. Without question. Talk about no that. one has asked about the conditions of the nursing homes that he owns. Uh -huh. yeah. No one uh -huh. has talked about who's on his executive staff. Uh -huh. No one has asked questions about how his workers are paid. Uh -huh. No one has talked about.
about the quality of the poor folk on Medicaid that lay up in them beds that are called in this election today. Yeah. Yeah. So I say, I support a young black entrepreneur. Yes, I do. To everyone. That's right. You got a team, folk, that will serve and that will work. But we will not water down our message. That's right. That's right. And we will Amen. not be polite to people who try to murder us. Huh. That's right. And please understand that we have an agenda that many people support. And don't think it's an all-black agenda. Right. Equity means every, every, everybody. We have friends and places that you don't even know about. That's right. That's right. But this is the time to open up the door. This is the time to walk in. And this is the time for us to take this victory to the next level. That's right. For every runoff, we gonna fight. Amen. And when we fight, we win. We win. We win. But there's one thing I like for us to remember. Go ahead. All right. This election was a slap in our face. Exactly. And the sad part is that a lot of us don't realize it. Oh, yeah. You see, they came at us and thought that we were so stupid, so ignorant, they could buy you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. That $300,000. It wasn't for campaigning. That's right. It was for your soul. That's right. Uh, wow. And it was so effective that you got those people who used to be black. Come on now. I hear running around right now thinking they did what was right. All right now. That's what I'm talking about. They wanted to go out here and they are out here telling you who to vote for. That's right. I sit in a meeting right over here at Edgecombe County, our uh, Edgecombe Community College, and a white lady sat up in that meeting, and she said, we are tired of the city government. One person. One person said that. Yeah, one person. She turned around and she said it again. And I raised my hand, and I was very polite, and I said, I don't know who the we you are speaking of. That's right. Well, unless it's French. <laughs> because the only person can tell me when I'm tired of something is me. Because I'm grown. We got too many people of our color that's got their brains and their thoughts. Mm. And the only reason that we're here now celebrating a victory with people that's our color that can think like we think, that can see like we see. Mm -hmm. Because you see, this 15 years that has been going on now, where we can see progress over in our neighborhood, yes. That's right. they right here telling us it's not happening. Uh -huh. Now, you've got to be blind or stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if you can look at the edge cone child of Rocky Mountain and don't see progress. Mm. But they told you it is not happening. These guys aren't doing anything. And you're supposed to agree with it. This is not over. This ain't over. Oh, no. But now I'll tell you one thing we did. We told them we're not for sale. All right. Now, now boy, we hurt their feelings big. That's right. You see, they don't try to lot of things, but they thought their dollar could get our soul. And we're saying we're not for sale. And as you said, when the runoff comes, Hey, we're going to show them we're definitely not for sale. Those days are over with. You can join the table or you can get up and go. Because that, that, that's the only alternative that we're giving you. See, it's not about what they want anymore. It's about what we're going to give them. Right. <laughs> well, I have an announcement that one of uh, the person who's been attacking us for the last two years just came and apologized to the best man won. You want to say I'm back? Wow! wow. 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 wow.
called the Yes, it is. The best wow. boy. He, he shut my ass so up. Well, they probably talked about him like I told them they were going to do. He probably heard they talked about him. Right. And they won't step in yeah. the What I try to tell them. And so, God will. Answer prayer. Huh? He'll make you enemy. Uh, your foot stool. <laughs> we want to thank everybody. Y'all can mingle. Complete you all. Oh, that, well, that means to me that you realize that. His camp realized. And his camp realized that I don't care how much money you, you spend and how many lies you tell, I think the truth will stand. That's right, yes, brother. Amen. You might That's outspend good. us, when the world is on fire. but you can't outwork us. And you can't outpray. You can't outpray. <laughs> and so I know prayer would work. Yeah. And I had, last week, I called everybody in my church, all 20. <laughs> And I said, I said, y'all gonna pray. <laughs> and normally, I'm sort of laid back. But my sister got this prayer line. I told everybody, pray, pray. I said, what's wrong? I said, just pray. And they pray. We had the best time in church. But I always remember with my dad. Every time something used to come up, okay. he would always pray. Yeah, I remember when we, we got an announcement. Say loud, say loud. 17 out of 17 precincts have reported. Sandy Robertson, total ballot count is 4,718. Bronson Williams in second place with 2,615. Yeah. Sandy Robertson has gained 48.2% of the vote, which guarantees a runoff. Yeah.
Where do we go from here? Right. All right. All right. Where do we go from here? Right. So you number one, we gotta get our camps together. Yeah. 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 Whether you supported the winning candidates or not, right. it's time to come together. Yeah. Yeah. We need to come together around affordable housing, economic development everywhere, and Edgecombe County that's prosperous, and jobs for everybody with living wages, number one. Number two, we got to get our communities together and take this voter mobilization over the top. That's right. 100% turnout. Every church, every street, every family, every household. 100% turnout. If we turn out, we win. And if we win this election, we won for 20 years. And make it happen. And we need volunteers. Yes. We need your nickels and dimes, quarters, dollars, twenty, twenty-five, hundred, whatever you got, thousands. We need your help. We know that we are fighting. Are we going to get a money machine? Yes. I mean, money like I've never seen before in a local election. Yes. You know, you make it outspin us. That's right. But you sure can't outwork us. That's it. And when they try to make it great without strong, come on. Come on. We made it. Yeah. yeah. I can take my side now, you can put your side. Yes, sir. Right. Make it simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, when we call you, please come out and help us out. Okay? Right. You'll be getting instructions by phone, by email, by letter, by smoke I don't know what I'm going to say. Word of mouth. And a lot of people say that don't count, that don't help. Well, your only black president got in on a nickel dime report. Barack Obama raised more money off the internet than any president in 